What are some girl secrets boys don't know about? I remember reading one such reddit question and men being horrified by the following point. During our periods. Most, all, comma of us also get diarrhea or some kind of poop situation. It's almost a war between blood and other stuff. So whenever I have my period. I make damn sure to be in an isolated toilet with plenty toilet rolls. Sometimes farts will travel up the area like a bubble and pop in the front. We wash our bras way less often than you'd think. If the undie and the bra match. Boys. You didn't win us. You were the target. The idea that I'm even remotely desirable is a bigger win than just getting my dick wet. Single dad with a daughter. This thread feels so important and also mind-numbingly terrifying. One time when I was staying after school for a club in middle school. The boys bathroom was locked up already and an adult said I could use the girls bathroom as long as I didn't make a mess. So me. An unsuspecting 6th or 7th grade boy went into a girls bathroom and found it empty all except for a wall plastered with pictures of Shrek and dolls painted green. Did it make more sense after you learned more about the opposite Shreks? Guys always talk about that secret move where they unstick their penis from their thigh. Right? The girl equivalent is when get out of bed on your period and you can feel the blood coming. So you stand at a particular angle to make sure it lands on the absorbent part of the pad and not leave you in a mess. Our hair is inside the towel twist, unless it's really short. I legitimately can tell the difference between the jokes and the actual truth in some of these. All the ones about overthrowing the government are true. How we are gross slobs in private when no one's watching us. Do. Do you also eat over the sink when alone? I'll admit I ate a huge slice of watermelon standing in the bathtub then took a shower after. When girls go to the bathroom together they're actually sneaking away to conspire to overthrow local governments. Nice try but we will never tell you about the sacrifices in the woman's bathroom. It's not the size that necessarily matters but if I rate a guy as sucks in bed it's because he doesn't care if you enjoy it or get off. Please a woman guys she will return the favor. Selfish in bed is an automatic dumping. I read all the comments. I agree any gender can be selfish in bed. We can make towel hats. Where a girl in a bikini keeps her poke balls. When a guy says something really sentimental. Girls will remember it forever. Girls go to the bathroom together cause we are always taught not to go places alone and in turn can happen in bathrooms to a point we all just naturally go with someone else. The second we're alone with an unknown male we already have envisioned the worst case scenario. Where the exits are. The clit. Not all girls have mood swings when they are on their periods. It's possible you're being a dick. We like to play with our boobs. They are just so soft and nice. I always wondered how guys store their dick in their pants. Still don't understand. The art of no makeup makeup. A lot of guys have no clue we are wearing makeup outside of a full face with full slashes. Which is is why it's frustrating when dudes say that I look good without it or don't need it while I'm wearing freaking makeup lol. An everyday makeup routine. Even simple foundation. Concealer. The little mascara goes a long way for a girl's complexion. Even the most natural makeup routines really smooth things out and mask a lot of imperfections. Guys may start to figure that out once they get a long term girlfriend who they get to see in the mornings. My wife works very hard on her natural look. And I absolutely love and appreciate the effort she puts into it. I also like how she looks when she wakes up first thing in the morning. I'm starting to think I might have a crush on her. My husband and I are both runners. And the first time we went running together was a few years into marriage, kids. Work schedules. One of us goes for a run while the other holds down the fort. Comma he was curious why I run holding my keys in my hand. I showed him the keys between the fingers trick and he had no idea girls do this. Oh. Yeah. Back when the me too thing first started. 
We were watching a show and the woman being interviewed said all women have been harassed. Groped. Etc. My husband laughed and said. That's not true. You've never had that happen. His mind was blown when I said yes. I have. I just didn't mention it to you because there was nothing you could do about it after the fact. I told him about how many times men have said rude things to me while walking down the street. And he said. I've never heard anyone say anything like that to you. Dude. That's because you're a large man and I clearly belong to you. Since we're walking together. And no man would disrespect you like that that's why you've never heard any of this. Sometimes you're not sure if you're sweaty. Your period is starting. Or you're turned on until you go to the bathroom to check. When a girl is upset and wants you to listen. She wants you to listen. She doesn't want you to fix it or tell her how to. She just wants you to listen. It's called the PB and J wipe. You will struggle to find a woman that has not been as sexually harassed attacked touched inappropriately at some point in her life. I think a lot of men take for granted that they don't have to worry about that sort of thing happening to them. It does. I'm not saying men are not victims too. It just isn't as much of a worry for the average male. Women worry about it a lot. Most men aren't aware of the lengths that most women have to go to protect themselves when they are alone in public. The feeling when you're on your period and you've sat really still for a long time. Then you move. Bath. Periods hurt. Like. Like a lot. Like. A lot. And yes. Not so much a secret but just something we do. When wearing sheer bras. We position our nipples to be centered. Slipping into a bra or snapping one on can create drag. We're not trying to run around with 10 and 2. Our nipples have USB ports. Sometimes during our period. We may get the dreaded stabby butthole. Literally feels like someone is stabbing you right there. And it comes out of nowhere. Breasts are uncomfortable as. They're heavy and honestly so annoying. Like. May I please lay on my goddamn stomach so I can sleep without these pieces of little fat get in my way? Also when breasts bounce without a bra on, like jumping accidentally or falling in the house, the pain is painful as. Like why? If it's not showing. We're not shaving. If he comes into you often. Your pH value down there might become it up. We fart. Impressive. Not a girl. But I met one once. She smelled amazing. Must be some secret girl juice. The secret is hygiene. We am stubborn. A lot. A guy I was hooking up with was very surprised when I started doing it. A penis is great and all but all guess MS have to be achieved by stimulating the clit. So I did. I mean he was totally into it. Like a lot. But I guess he never had a girl do that with him before. We watch shows about killing people way too much but we won't admit to it because we're scared you'll put the pieces together. Bras are way more fragile than you think. If a guy tells you a nice thing about you. We think about it for years. Literally years. I was told I was like a magnet that draws him, my ex, to me and I still think about it all the time. When girls are on their period and they sneeze. At 02. We are visited once a month by an evil demon named Menstruous. That girls can converse with each other entirely through our eyes and the looks we give each other. Entire conversations between girls can be said with our eyes. And you'll never know that conversation took place. We could be conspiring against the government. Having an emotional conversation. Spilling drama. You'll never know. 1. When you're sending freaky texts I guarantee you I'm not in the mood. I'm just bored too. Our friend group is code words to let each other know when we are in a get me out of here situation. 3. We have to plan what would happen if one of us gets kidnapped on the regular 4. We have our location on 4, very, close friends most likely 2 4, 7, 5. We don't tell our friends literally everything. 
if what happened between us is special. That the clit is not the pee hole. I just learned that from my wife. OMG dude. Girls don't like dirty talk as much as you think. Randomly doing it and doing it in bed is different. And no one likes random dick pics. No one. I promise you this. That when we were growing up we had all the same fears. Hopes. Dreams. And insecurities as the boys did so that we absolutely saw ourselves more as individuals than as belonging to some collective group of girls. But then at some point we came to understand that no matter how brilliant or capable or ambitious we saw ourselves as. There would always be those who would see us as nothing more than a girl. That at some point in our lives we started getting the message subtly and not so subtly that this is a problem. That some things are not for us. That we aren't supposed to be too much. That they sing the Halo theme in the bathroom too. You ask why girls go with each other to bathrooms? There's most of time a secret door built in. Usually on left side of the room. Behind this door. There's a room with usually fewer chairs. Table. Sofa if the bathroom is more popular. Or even sofas. Most of the rooms have mirrors to fix your makeup or more private etc. You guys miss Alet. The most luxury ones that I have seen could pass as a hotel room. Edit. I have to clarify. Be critical. Don't believe everything you read on net. And please stay out of bathrooms looking for door. Thanks. We tell men what they want to hear. Especially in terms of pretending to be impressed by them. It's a habit that's hard to break. Since men like flattery soo much and are nicer when they are being flattered. Girl. When there are no guys around we compare our periods from our cycle lengths to how painful our cramps are to the size of the blood clots that come out of us. Ahahahaha <laughs> you fool. I'm a guy. Not a gal. But I hear they only keep suction dildos around to pull dents out of car doors and hoods. If you leave us on read you aren't making us want to chase you. Some of us think about SX more than guys do. Not me though but I know some girls and all they ever talk about is SX.